Today in our 2012 Nissan Altima, we'll be looking at our best hitch options. We have two hitches that we're looking at here today. They are both class one hitches. On the top, we have a Kurt, part number C11352. On the bottom, we have a draw tight, part number 24796. Now, I'd like to point out one of the obvious differences between our two hitches here today. The Kurt is significantly wider than the draw tight. And because of that, the Kurt hitch will install into our vehicle's frame rail in existing holes. You have to enlarge one of the holes in the frame rail to feed your carriage bolts and your spacer plates into it. Our draw tight hitch, however, we have to drill all four holes into the trunk pan where your spare tire well is. So even though we have to drill a couple holes to install the draw tight hitch, it's not a big deal. All you need to do is run a bead of silicone around it to prevent any harm from happening to anything that you have stored in your trunk. Another difference a Kurt hitch has between our draw tight hitch is the way our safety chain loops are constructed. On our Kurt hitch, it's a flat plate welded to the bottom of the receiver. And you have this opening here where you can only really fit about two fingers in. If we look down at the draw tight, you can see how it's a round tubular construction going around the bottom of the receiver. And because of this, you have more access to getting more items in there it's just something to keep in mind if you have some large diameter safety chains which may pose an issue on your trailer. Now, the Kurt Hitch also features a decorative collar around the outside of the receiver, whereas our draw tight hitch is just squared and cut off flush. One final difference that our Kurt Hitch has over the draw tight is if we're using the Kurt Hitch for a non-trailer application, such as using it for a bike rack or a cargo carrier, Kurt does require the use of a stabilization strap to help support the load. We have those stabilization straps available for purchase on our website if you would need one. Now both of our hitches have the same weight capacity of a 200 pound max tongue weight rating and a 2000 pound max gross trailer weight rating. Obviously you want to consult with the owner's manual of your Nissan Altima and go by whatever number is less. Now both of our hitches being class one have the industry standard inch and a quarter opening. They are both constructed out of a square tubular construction and they both have a black powder coat finish to them. The Kurt being a little bit more of a high gloss compared to the draw tight. They both feature industry standard half inch diameter hitch pin hole to secure your hitch mounted accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. Both of these hitches will sit in about the same position underneath your vehicle. Your half inch diameter hitch pin hole on both of these hitches is about six and a half inches from the center of it to the rearmost point on the back bumper. And to the top of the inch and a quarter class one opening on these hitches, you're just looking at about 10 and three quarters on the draw tight and about 10 inches on the curd at the top. Now most of your hitch mounted accessories will work just fine in either one of these receivers because they're both in about the same position. Now if we look over our Ultima that we have in here today, we have the draw tight hitch currently installed on it. As you can see, it hangs down below our rear fascia, nice and flush with this decorative pan underneath our bumper cover here. It's really easy to hook up all of our accessories. It's not too close to the rear bumper cover here that's going to make it difficult to hook in your safety chains or get your hitch pin in place. You have plenty of clearance for that, but it's not hanging down so low that you have to worry about bottoming out. One thing I like about both of our hitches that we have here today, they also don't stick out past our bumper. So if we're walking around behind our vehicle to put something in the trunk, we don't have to worry about running our legs into the hitch. Now, if you're gonna be using this hitch primarily for a non-trailer application, such as using it for a bike rack or a cargo carrier, I would be leaning towards buying the draw type myself just because you don't need to have that stabilization strap to help support the load. It's one less thing you need to worry about when it comes to getting your accessories mounted on the vehicle. In summary, our hitches will be the same in regards to weight capacity, clearance, and towing. Since the draw type doesn't need a stabilization strap, it has a slight advantage over the Kurt. However, the Kurt is going to be a bit easier to install. We hope this helps you with your hitch purchasing decision. And that completes our look at the best hitch options for the Nissan Altima. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.